Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, my last known address, 1023 Kitchen Dick Road? Yeah. Was that a private residence or was that the church? Mm -hmm. Because as I read this, um, you have to update certain information with Social Security. Yeah. And uh, change of marital status. Mm -hmm. I mentioned that I'd like to get divorced. Yes. Then there's the question of confinement in jail, prison, penal institution, correctional facility for more than 30 days. Yeah. Uh, for the conviction of a crime or you are combined for more than 30 continuous days mm -hmm. to a public institution by court order in connection with a crime. Mm -hmm. Now, I was real close to being admitted to a mental facility, yes, because of the false accusations of crime. Yeah, and that's really what this says here. Mm -hmm. Confined, mm -hmm. as in admitted to a mental institution, yes, Against my will, yes, for the knowledge uh -huh, of knowing I never committed any crimes, yes. Now, Social Security right now would say, well, Mr. Butnick, uh -huh, you got arrested for the allegation of violating a protection order. Oh, now I could say, well, I wasn't given any notice or opportunity to be heard, but the way they see it, it doesn't matter. The court issued it. Mm-hmm. See, that they don't, they don't get a copy of the actual protection order. Yes. They don't have the availability of, of making their own judgment. And as much as you said that I have to motion the court, I would say that it's a fraudulent protection. <coughs> now, let's say there's the use of forgery, Jack. Mm -hmm. Exhibit A. <laughs> well, uh, Commissioner Brent Baston was there all by himself. There is no forgery on this one. Yes. See, when you admitted it as evidence, mm -hmm. it became twice as bad that there is no forgery there, didn't it? Now, maybe Commissioner Bayston mm -hmm, would consider that this protection order as Exhibit A was going to be used to have me admitted into a mental facility against my will. Yes. And then you were going to administer psychotropic medication as the first line of therapy. <laughs> So that I could be restored, yes, for informing law enforcement of forgeries. Oh, now Social Security would say, well, you, uh, you are confined to Western State Hospital for more than 30 days by court order in connection with the two count criminal complaint in Jefferson County because of the incompetence dismissal of the Clallam County. Yes. Traffic citation where you said right now that I was in Swim, Washington, but the best evidence. Now, obviously, um, your hate crime mm -hmm. affects my Social Security. Yes. And when you remove, when you refuse to remove, yes, mm -hmm, all your fraud. Mm. I would say that I'm suing the employees of Social Security because I emailed them. <laughs> Could you give me all the employees of Social Security Administration? <laughs> I just want to know how many of them are obligated right now. <laughs> no, I am. So um, so give me every employee for the last 50 years of Social Security Administration <laughs> and all Social Security numbers that have been issued. <laughs> Because I, w I will sue Social Security for having knowledge of forgery. Oh, having knowledge of the fraud. Yes, having knowledge of the ouch, malicious prosecution of myself. The hate crimes of the state of Washington. The federal hate crimes of me being deprived the color of the enforcement of the laws. And then each and every employee of Social Security right now. They can all get sued as individuals. Of such a great. <laughs>